guys, this is Ferganator. I hope you enjoyed the new intro. I'm going to be doing a video today on the Infiltrator class in Planetside 2. A lot of beginners in Planetside, after deciding what class they want to specialise, will simply buy every certification they see just to try it out. And what they don't realise is how many certs they have wasted in doing this. What is needed is someone to suggest to them how to spend their first 500 and 1000 certification points. And that's what I'm going to do. We know that the Infiltrator class has a lot of things to upgrade, and a lot of variation in how it can be played. So if you disagree with my recommendations, then that's completely fine. But bear in mind that I am a more experienced player than most beginners. I have logged over 400 hours on the game, so I'll at least give some thought to my suggestions. Let's quickly go through all the items that the Infiltrator has. In the ability slot, we have the Infiltrator's cloaking device, and probably his most useful tool. You'll see that there are two types of cloak available to the Infiltrator. Hunter cloaking, and nano armor cloaking. The benefits of hunter cloaking over nano armor are that the hunter will last considerably longer and will recharge considerably faster. With nano armor cloaking, damage intake is reduced by 45%. Now, while 45% damage reduction does sound like a sweet deal, the benefits of the recharge time and lasting time of the hunter cloaking are far superior. We can compare the two cloaks to show this. Hunter cloaking will cost your character 10, 50, 100, 150, and 500 certs for each rank respectively, totaling to 810 certs for full certification. Nano armor cloaking is more expensive at 50, 100, 150, 200, and 500 certs for each rank, totaling to 1000 certs for full certification. In the grenade slot, we can replace our frag grenade with either an EMP grenade at 200 certs, or a decoy grenade at 150. I completely regret certifying both these items, as they are almost completely useless. The EMP grenade will make the enemy's HUD go fuzzy, and will take down their shields, which, imaginably, is a lot yet less useful than just killing them. The decoy grenade makes the sound of gunfire, and shows up as an enemy on the minimap which is almost unnoticeable to your foes during large combat, and even if they fall for it, not particularly useful. I would definitely advise sticking with the standard frag grenade for your infiltrator. The infiltrator has a much underestimated tool slot, the recon detect device. What this does is it fires a dart which pulses on the minimap, detecting enemies within the radius. By ranking up this tool, you gain extra darts and more regularly pulsing with a larger radius, as well as a larger dart lifespan. Upgrading the detect device is steep, at 30, 50, 200, 500, and 1000 certs, bringing it to the grand total of 1780 certification points to fully upgrade it. Yet another choice to be made. There are three possible utility items that the infiltrator can equip. These are Medical Kit, Restoration Kit, and Proximity Triggered Explosive, which is Bouncing Betty for a uh, new conglomerate, Claymore for the Terran Republic, and a Proximity Mine for the Vanu Sovereignty. Between the Medical Kit and the Restoration Kit, I and many others would certainly advise the Restoration Kit. It will heal you over time rather than immediately, but will heal you for more health. I'm not going to advise between the regen kit and the explosive though, because these are both incredibly, incredibly useful tools for your character. However, the explosive will cost you 200 certs to unlock and 400 to upgrade, allowing you to wield another two, uh, wield two in total, on your person, which is more expensive than the first couple of certifications into the regen kit, which are 30 and 100 certs. The next two, ran two ranks of the kit are then much steeper at 200 and 500 certifications. In the suit slot, 
we have a wide range of different equip equipable items. I'll do a quick roundup. Unless you find yourself being killed constantly by explosive damage, I would advise completely ignoring the flak armor. Same goes with the grenade bandolier. You can easily chuck, chuck a couple of certs into the nanoweave armor to make yourself a bit tougher, and this will also prevent you from being one shot killed by mines. The advanced shield capacitor works very synergetically with your hunter cloaking, but it's quite expensive for what it's worth. And finally, the ammunition belt can be a cheap one to start with if you find yourself frequently running your ammunition dry. With passive systems, we have the good old Advanced Equipment Terminal Hacking. This allows you to hack enemy terminals and phalanx turrets to make them available for use for your own faction. It is a very useful tool for preventing enemies from using their powerful defense turrets or spawning vehicles, etc. You can even hack a turret while an enemy player is using it. To upgrade the hacking, it costs 1, 30, 50, 100, and 500 certs. Okay, so I'm a new player, and I'm starting on planet side 2. Assuming I play Infiltrator, where am I going to put my first 500 certs? The number one priority is to upgrade your Hunter Cloaking. The first two ranks will cost you 60 certs, so that's a good place to start. After that, I suggest putting one singular cert into Nanoweave Armor for your suit slot. Now, spend another singular cert on Terminal Hacking. After that, spend 80 certs upgrading your Recon Detect device. Once you've done this, put another 10 certs into the second rank of Nanoweave, and another 80 into Terminal Hacking. You have now spent your first 232 certs. Now you have a decision to make. Ask yourself, as an infiltrator, do I want to go behind enemy lines of racking up kills and benefiting your team by hacking, etc., or do I want to pick up the deadliest bolt action sniper rifle and make those enemies wish they were never born? It's up to you. And, the eff and it also affects how your next 268 certs are going to be spent, and probably beyond there. Let's just say for a second that you choose the sniping route. In this case, you'll want to think hard about a scope for your, bolt for your standard sniper rifle. Go to VR training and choose a scope, because I can't tell you which one to use. As far as I'm concerned, it's all personal preference when it comes to scopes. Um, and if you have a scope that suits you, it will make all the difference. This will cost you 30 certifications. The next 200 you spend can either be spent on the Rebel Pistol or a utility slot item, whatever suits you best. The Rebel Pistol, by the way, is a secondary arm to replace the standard mag shot, or faction equivalent. It does more damage, but has a lower rate of fire and ammunition pool. On the road to 1,000 certs in the Infiltrator, as a sniper, we must improve what we have already certified. Get more cloaking, and get more recon detect device. Get more suit slot, and get more utility. Eventually, as a sniper, you want to pick up the best bolt action for your faction. This will be the one that does the most damage, and has the highest bullet velocity of any sniper rifle that your faction owns. Unfortunately, you will have to spend either 1,000 certifications or 700 station cash to acquire one of these beasts, but it is well worth it. When infiltrating, you must spend your second 500 certs upgrading your utility slot and buying attachments for your scout rifle. Beyond 1,000 certs, you might want to think about investing in an SMG. I'll do a roundup in a future video. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys now, so just keep that in mind. If you found this video helpful, fun, or were just bored and thought you might as well watch it, then feel free to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about the channel. This was Fergonator from Game Squadville, and I'll see you guys later.